Cogmine, the true roguelike. I'll admit, I have never heard of this game until I was being forced to play it. So this is going to be an absolutely terrible example of the gameplay, but hopefully a good video. I'm looking forward to it. So taking a look at these difficulties, I guess I'm going to have to go with three. It does say that it's technically designed and balanced for this mode, which means that's the one I got to play on, right? I, I always play on normal difficulty because that's what the game is entirely balanced around, right? Oh, this is going to be a nightmare. Let's do it. Yep. I think I might see what the inspiration for the, the visuals here are. <laughs> anyway, yep. Oh man, I wonder if there is like an actual ASCII mode or something that I can play as, because that would be fun. Although I can imagine that it's like, I, sh I should keep it as it is, right? Manual seems like a good thing to look at right now. Oh, no, no, no. Don't have to explain that to me. But like, jeez, everything else. Well... Not recommended for beginners, which can seem overwhelming at first. Ah, let's just let's just see what the game has to give me first off, and then go from there. Hello. Uh, yeah, don't, don't worry about it. Unfortunately, your uh, name has already appeared in the upper right corner, and I don't think I can turn that off. Yes, I am naked, uh, scared, and probably about to die to, like, I don't know, a giant wasp or something. You know, those things always have, like, a lot of, a lot of dodge and generally, like, poisonous hits to them. There's a good reason why, like, soldier ants are the most deadly thing in NetHack, after all. Maybe I could be some sort of mind of a cog. It's hard to say. I don't know what that means. <laughs> It's just, it's, it sounds like I have technical know-how, though. All right. Look, all I got to do is just equip a weapon and then um, run into enemies, right? Right? Got like 50% avoidance in my evasion, whatever that even means. Also, not quite sure if I should have the mouse on here right now. <laughs> I'll move it off screen and I'll see if it's important later, I guess. Indeed. Well, I don't know what's going on. So, you know, like, give me a minute to kind of get my bearings. Uh-huh. Can you look? No, L is move to the right. Is R move to the left? No. Uh, pick up a part by stand... G, not not comma? That's usually the way you do it. Ion engine, let's take a look. Inventory ion engine. Um How do I actually observe things is the question though. Yeah, question mark just does the same thing. Expand. Da -da. Let's see. Okay, so I can do that. Uh talking by clicking on it, parts must be active to use it. Da -da. <laughs> Resource management, of course. I mean, I kind of thought that that's how it would go right now, but it does seem like I I guess I'm going to wander around and see what happens and die, I assume. Just, you, you know, that's just kind of how it goes, right? <laughs> okay. Seems simple enough. Time only advance when you're there. Yeah, I, I know I'll guess. Aluminium leg. Times two. F3 toggles that. Oh. Oh, hell yeah. I don't know. That's a little bit difficult to see on the ground, though. You, usually it's just the dots. That's how you see that. But maybe I'll be skipping back and forth between the. Between the um, maybe I'll be skipping back and forth between, like, the uh, the, the basic ASCII mode and not ASCII. Oh, of course. 
So, can I just like equip all of these right now? Seems like probably a good idea. Do I want wheels or do I want legs? That's a good question. Oh, that's how you do it. Right click. Got it. Wow, look at that amazing ASCII art for it too. What does it look like if I... Oh, only when you're on the map, I guess you can switch back and forth. Time for movement. Yeah, time for movement seems pretty good. Gives you a lot of support. 20% chance to kick targets out of the way instead of ramming them. Resulting in no damage to self. Seems like a good idea. Well, at the same time, the fact that these things have, like, integrity and stuff like that tells me maybe I should save those for, you know, when I actually need to fight, not when I'm just moving around. Moving around seems seems like a good idea. Got any data entry to uh, keyboard players can use the up, down, arrows, and enter. Let's take a look. Nothing right now, I suppose. System corruption, 0%. That's not what it said at the beginning of the game. I got on a lair. Don't know what that means. Rolling, fast, time, location, question marks. Theoretical avoidance. So, if I take these off, do I get more avoidance then? No, because I definitely had those on and I had 40% avoidance. Is that just like the terrain that I'm on or something like that that is affecting it? I suppose I'll figure that out a little bit later. In the meantime, uh, I forgot where my character was for a second. Okay, here's the question, though. What is look? What is the look here? Um, give me a look button right now. Uh-huh. Hmm. Um, give me give me what the, the, the basic... Left click, right click on... Uh, dun -dun. Shift click, scroll wheel to wait. Scroll wheel to wait? Hmm. Okay, I just want to know... Look button is always one of the most uh, important things you can possibly get in one of these games so that, you know, you don't immediately walk onto a square that has a dead orc on it and then you also get hit by the poison arrow trap <laughs> as you do. Okay, okay. Uh, Wait, get item, force, order, ally. I wonder if that's going to be too uh, a big thing in this or is that just going to be, you know, hey, you can have allies, period. We'll see. Ah, uh, here we go, X. Z is Intel overlays. Oh, yeah. There you go. Um, but anyway. Examine only applies in keyboard mode. Am I not in keyboard mode? Intel mode Z. How do I actually like do stuff with it? Do I click on things? Aha. Okay. Assault rifle, laser. Just matter? Matter. Dozens and dozens of matter. The surface collecting debris. So I guess that's probably an NPC that I can talk to or attack. Give me the medium laser. Of course. <laughs> Once again, I'm loving the ASCII art here with this. This is great. But, uh... Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Well, equip it up. Yeah? Yeah? Seems useful. The avoidance is about the same. Overweight warning. We're carrying more than propulsion. Certainly in sports. See status page. What do you got? Overweight. Mass five of three. Okay. So it's actually very simple to figure out exactly how that works, I suppose. Melee is terrible. Density is terrible. Heat dissipation is great. Doing super good on that and uh, all that other stuff. All right, so if I just unequip this, then do I get, uh, no, still overweight. Here's the question, though. How do I drop things? Because that's clearly going to be what I need to do right now. Oh, uh, I just, maybe I should just take, like, the assault whatever instead. Because that is going to be, in all likelihood, a pretty, uh, just seeing what's going on here first. Now, then. Dump current stats? Interesting. What is keyboard mode? I'm just curious about that. Now. Okay, yeah. It just, it just like, you know, more or less uh, gives you the traditional sort of roguelike way of doing that. Can't quite see what that is. Can I now? Because... No, it just... 
whatever it is, it's might not be close enough though still. Well, I I guess it's just a door. Matter is used to attach parts consumed by ballistic weapons. Sure. <laughs> okay, well, I guess I'll go and... Ow. Uh-oh. <laughs> Not noticing right now. Okay. F to fire. Yeah, that's a pretty classic way. 53%, that's it? Fine, I'll do it. Cannot target self. No. No active weapons in range. Fine, give me a second here. Uh, yeah? Stupid mercenary robot. Okay, so they then explode into parts, I suppose. What? Oh. It's trying to run away. I got it. Will you just go down already? Hey, I got an achievement. I can't believe that. Uh, that was like a 53% chance of... Getting it in the first place? Strange. An excavator? Wait, why'd they explode into... I don't even know. Ooh. Still need to figure out how to drop uh, items still first. That's kind of an important thing right now, I think. All right. Uh... Okay, let me see. Drop items, drop items, confirm order, wait, run, close, clear, dump currents. Nothing says drop. Me on the right side. I mean, there's detach. So by sometime. Because I kind of need to not be overweight, as usual. Drag to inventory. Oh, okay. Well, maybe I'll just... I guess I can also just go switch it back to... Uh, Non-keyboard mode and just... Yep. Doop. And ask for stats. We good now? We good now. Yeah. Slows movement. Yeah, 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 yeah. Okay. Well, I suppose I can see how that's going now. Does seem like all these would be useful, but the fact that they are all probably... Ugh, I'm noticing right now that one of my wheels is also, like, super not working for me. Yeah, get out of here. Okay, that's that's how you do it. <laughs> there you go. Give me the legs instead. Whatever, I don't need to move around. All I need are... All I need are, are kicking things. That's right. I'm ready for it. <laughs> I guess. And then give me one second. Uh, right, right, right. Uh, Intel mode, cooling systems, etc. I guess I don't really need cooling right now. Cooling's... We're, hey, what's this? Well, I mean, it was alert at first. Now it's warning. Intel mode. Everything here is going to be putting me way overweight. Maybe I should just stick with the the laser deal and then just keep it at that. Oh, apparently with the legs, I actually get a lot more mass that I can carry around. All right, I got it. I got it. So that means that it's like what I really need to do is make sure absolutely that I that I have like my my general um I don't know. Uh, I don't know. Something. <laughs> Sensor array seems important. I can only carry four things in the first place, and the wheels, like, they're already almost broken as it is, so. I guess just give me the heavy assault rifles. I'll be I'll be attack guy right for right now. Seems like that hits for a pretty big area around me, so. Kill it. Kill it right now. Done. Okay, fine. Oh, is there a peak command? <laughs> Should probably look at that too, just uh thinking about it right now. 
peek around corners, you know, like a the, the cataclysm style to make sure that you don't get immediately killed by by the many, many turrets that are going to be around here. It does seem like a good idea. You know? <laughs> and detach drop, swap reassign. Coverage, info. I don't know. I don't see anything, at least right now. This is definitely the sort of this is definitely the sort of game that seems to be more about shooting. Okay. Now, as much as I would like to get that, I think I'd rather go for you. Alert. Matter alert. I already had, like, a pretty low amount of matter as it is. I should probably go back downstairs or something if I wanted to make that perhaps somewhat work. That said, things are getting destroyed. Everything is otherwise seeming pretty effective. I don't know. What do you got on the ground here? Flight unit? Oh, that seems pretty cool. I think I just grab matter by walking over it, so... Yeah. I see. That seems scary. Yeah, 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 yeah. I'm, I'm, I'm one of those, like, Lego robots. You can just put anything on me. It's cool. Uh, I think. Okay. Keep hitting this thing. Also, try and get behind cover more. I don't know. I think that guy said that he was going to be covering me, but, like, I just feel like, the, yeah, that's kind of a scary thing anyway. <sighs> yeah, I didn't realize that I was supposed to be grabbing every single bit of matter possible because that appears to be, like, my health or something. Like, that's, like, the parts that you're using to repair yourself as a robot man or something. As a weird-looking C. Ooh. Mining laser. Are you a threat? By the way, something I never I haven't even looked up just yet. How do I talk to dudes? <laughs> Maybe could be important. Is it like Z or or is is it like T or something? Usually that's kind of what I would think. Info, detach, drop. Uh and maybe it's just walk into them. About to leave area. No, not yet. Let's pick up some of these things, I suppose. The real question, though, is does a mining drill allow me to, uh, say, shoot through a wall? You know, mine, if you will. Okay. What is, like, the heavy assault rifle? Does it tell me damage or anything like that? Heat, recoil, damage is 12 to 18. Okay. Oh, pick up the thing here. Versus the laser, which is 12 to 13. Okay, we'll do whatever. I can just get rid of this then. Seems like the heavy assault rifle is going to be better anyway. Blade trap. Okay. How do I deal with traps is the question. Hostile. Uh, I'll just not walk over it, right? It seems like the easiest way to do this. Yeah? No, the blade trap apparently... Alright, I see. Ow. <laughs> That's fine, though. Got it. So the idea was supposed to be that, you know, you, um, you no know, activated weapons in range. Oh, I got all the weapons shot off of me. I got it. <laughs> Ow. Why do I keep doing this? So I guess it's like those, these things work in a, um, I guess these things would work in a, um, like area. Of stuff now please give me my legs back before I uh, start tripping over stuff so apparently dismemberment is just a common thing in this uh, game oh boy how large are these mine lasers 
Oh, incredibly short range. So I guess I should have just taken the assault rifle then his stuff instead. Got it. <laughs> oh my god, I'm dying. There go the lasers. Okay. It apparently also uses a ton of... Oh god. Also, yeah, I don't, I don't even have this equipped. Okay, okay, okay. I think I'm about to die. To regain energy, simply wait via the mollusk wheel. <laughs> Not right now. Insufficient energy. Great. Can I just force melee? Ow. Ooh. Okay, yeah, you really don't want to do melee in this game, I'm noticing. Maybe I'll just, like, dip on out to the next area and try and make this work. Maybe. No. No. No, I'm dying. <laughs> Hello. Great. Thanks. I, yeah, it took me long enough and I'm almost dead. But that's okay. I think I'm getting a little bit uh, better idea of how exactly the uh, whole game is working now. Well, here, let's take a look. I don't know what that is. Considering I have no other weapons aside from this kind of terrible laser, which seems to use way too much energy. Maybe we won't do that. Then, um... Yeah. Matter alert is really starting to go down quite a bit, but I'll figure this out one out later. How's the range on this thing? Pretty alright. Compared to most. Not as much damage. Also appears to be a little bit damaged here too. But that's okay. I can figure... I'll, I'll get something else later, I suppose. Signal interpreter sounds like something that would be utility. Which I don't really know if I want. Considering the battery, I'm sure is probably... Uh, you know, going to be important for not... Uh, not losing my... You know... Stop. Uh, this though, what does this even do? Inventory capacity. Wow. Nice. I guess we'll keep that. <laughs> okay. Matter pod. If only I had something for power again, though. I feel like that could be kind of useful. Yeah, maybe. I actually don't... Okay. That sounds not good. Y yeah? I don't know what that means, but okay. Let's leave? Okay, I'll just go in a different direction. Won't um, worry about you then. <laughs> Great. Uh, I don't think there's like a... Oh, great. Whatever this is, I'm going to kill it. With extreme prejudice. Wow, dude, my guy is not very good at aiming, is he? The mining laser does seem like maybe it's not the most, um... Uh... Incredible accuracy-wise. Okay, no, I am getting destroyed by these things. <laughs> Oh, I don't even have any weapons right now. Um, nope, not at all. I apparently got everything shot off of me. Movement speed extremely low. Yeah, no, I think that's, uh, I think that's clear. Nope, that's about that. <laughs> all right, then. So, uh, yeah, needless to say, I wanted to see exactly what this game was going to be like at the start, and it does seem like, yeah, it's going to be quite, uh, there's going to be a lot of things to get used to. Seems like the character is very modular, can change out a whole lot of uh, different items and everything like that, and getting used to what the ones that you want to use and throw on the ground and everything like that is is going to be an important part of this game. Time spotted, though, I'm noticing in the stats, does tell me that it's probably going to be more... More uh, stealthy, obviously shooting base. You're not really going to be running into enemies to kind of kill them in the same way that you normally would in a game like this. Uh, 
Parts attached, parts lost. <laughs> oh, man. A lot of this stuff, and, and, you know, like the allies. It seems like allies might be kind of an important thing. Sort of a Kenshi style, creating an entire squad of dudes is going to is going to be more important than, you know, having a very powerful character just by themselves. Well, I guess I'm going to, like, look a little bit further into how exactly you play this game, how exactly you play this game, and then come back hopefully a little bit more learned on the ins and outs. But like I said, for this first episode, I wanted to just see what would happen if I tried to play a game without, if I tried to play a game like this without knowing anything. <laughs> and then, yeah, it went about as poorly as I thought.